And now, your first alert five weather. And it's that time of the evening here on News 5 where we do some leaf peeping and show you some of the great colors we're seeing in our state from the sand grays to the rampart range all the way out to the San Juans. Let's start out in Wairfino County. Photo sent in by Ty from the top of Slide Mountain. Colors beginning to pop here into southern parts of the state as expected. And as we know, it takes a little bit longer for the southern half of the state to see those colors than what we see for the northern half. That's where the colors start to change a little bit earlier in the season. This right here in Divide, look at all the brilliant yellows and golds mixed with some green. I was up there on Wednesday in that part of Teller County shooting a story, and I got to tell you, it is incredible this year. I think it's better than last year. We even talked to some people driving along Highway 67, and they seem to agree with that assessment. This right here is the Million Dollar Highway. Had to look it up, but it's that stretch of road that goes from Silverton to Ure out there in the San Juans, and I love seeing the juxtaposition of the fall colors in the lower elevations, but snow accumulating across some of those higher summit peaks. Today in the springs, warmer than what we saw the past two days, so heading back towards a warming trend as we topped out at 72 this afternoon. Pueblo at 77. Both areas just a degree above the average for this time of the year. Now this evening we are tracking some higher terrain rain and snow showers. The snow's not showing up, but we showed you that live cam out of Pikes Peak earlier in the newscast. We are getting some snow on the summit. This little wave is bringing some light rain to areas west of that, generally into ruler parts of Park County, also Chafee County, into parts of Teller County as well. I don't expect it to make it as far east as us here in the springs. We should stay dry tonight, but it'll be a bit cloudy this evening. Right now we're at 67 degrees outside. Take you outside to Pueblo, also getting some cloud cover coming off of the wet mountains. Current temperature is 73 degrees. We're seeing this ridge of high pressure that's going to build back into the forecast area, and that's going to help to dry out the air mass through the day on Sunday. So what does that mean? Well, typically drier air mass conditions equate to some cooler overnight lows, but some warmer daytime highs, and that's what we'll see on Sunday. Can't rule out some lingering moisture in the southern part of the state, so we could see an isolated storm out there, generally from Wairfino County south and out across the southern and southeastern mountain ranges. Tomorrow, I'd say definitely one of those days to get out and do some leaf peeping. Bring a jacket. Cripple Creek highs only in the 50s. For Buena Vista, we should warm into the 60s. In the springs over the next 36 hours tonight, we cool down to the mid 40s, but tomorrow we warm all the way up to around 75. Now on the upper levels, ridge of high pressure is going to move across the northern Rockies. It's going to keep us dry through at least Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, watching this weak little ripple. It's a weak wave that comes out of the desert southwest, and that's going to move towards Utah and Colorado. I think areas west of the continental divide by the middle of the week do have the best chance of seeing rain and snow showers. Lows tonight down to the 30s and 40s. Your highs on Sunday. How about it? Doesn't get much better than this. A mix of 60s, 70s, and 80s. Even warmer Monday and then a touch cooler Tuesday to Wednesday. I mentioned we're watching for rain on Wednesday and show the mostly cloudy icon, but I think this far east we're going to be high, hard pressed to get much in the way of moisture. Similar story in Pueblo, little cooler Wednesday, generally looking at 80s, a few days in the upper 70s, but above average temperatures in the forecast over the next seven days. Now, Canyon City out into the upper Arkansas River Valley could see a few storms on Wednesday afternoon. Other than that, it is a dry extended forecast. And for Woodland Park, we start out dry, but in the middle of it on Wednesday again, just an isolated chance of a shower and storm. Also Sunday, possibly a little quick passing PM shower up there in Teller County. Pretty quiet week ahead though, I'd say, Andy. And Alan, I noticed, you know, it's pretty mild for all of the high temperatures on those seven days, but the low temperatures is starting to feel cooler in the evenings, isn't it? it? Yeah, you know, you, you can't forget the jacket now when you head out at night and in the morning. You know, it was so nice to not need it over the summer, but oh, yeah. if you forget it now, you're a little cold. <laughs> Seasons change right. that they do. All right, thanks so much, Alan.